I want you to go to chapter 6 of the Quran and read verse 114. Say, O Prophet, should I seek a judge other than Allah, while he is the one who revealed for you the book with the truth perfectly explained? Those who are given the scripture know that it has been revealed to you from the Lord in your truth. So do not be in of those of doubt. Now, when you read your translation that perfectly explained, what English version are you reading, just curiously? Oh, which English version? Yeah, because you're reading English. Now, if you can, I'm sure you can read the Arabic because you said you're in Palestine. But The what, clear Quran. Not too clear, but anyway, who translated it? What author? What's the name? Dr. Mustafa Gattab. Gattab. Yeah. Him, hey, whatever. Okay, now it says it's, uh, what is this book? This Quran is perfectly what? Explained. Okay, so perfectly explained. Now, perfectly explained means if you explain something completely thoroughly, it lacks nothing. So I want you to keep that in mind. Perfectly explained, right? Right. Okay, just keep that in mind because I got a few more verses I want you to look at. Go to chapter 10. So the you know, chapter 10, verse 37. And it was not possible for this Quran to be produced by other than Allah, but it is a confirmation of what was before and a detailed explanation of the former scripture about how where there's no doubt from the Lord of the worlds. Okay, now notice it is a detailed explanation of the former scripture, meaning it explains everything in detail. When you explain something in detail, it lacks nothing. And if it's perfectly explained, that means it's complete. Something complete lacks nothing. I just want you to keep in mind what your Quran is saying. And the Arabic is even clearer. Now, go to chapter 12, Surat al-Yusuf, chapter 12, verse 111. There was certainty in the stories, a lesson of those of understanding. Neither was the Quran a narration invented, but a confirmation of what was before it, and a detailed explanation of all things and guidance and mercy for all people who believe. Now, I want you to read this slowly because I want it to sink in in Samaria. It says, it is a detailed explanation of all things, right? Right, right. Okay, so don't forget what the Quran is saying. And I want everyone else to listen. The Quran in chapter 12, verse 111 says, it is a detailed explanation of all things. Not some things, but all things, right? Yes, sir. Now, with that said, go to chapter 41, verse 3 of the Quran. A book whose verses are elaborated in the form of an Arabic Quran for our people who understand. Now, a book in which verses are elaborated or explained in detail. It's the same idea. So, right. so I can repeat for the benefit of ever others. The Quran, this is just few of the many, repeats itself over and over again. This Quran explains all things in detail. It is perfectly explained. It elaborates, explains its verses in detail, meaning everything you need to know about the Quran and everything contained therein will be found in the Quran because it explains everything perfectly. That's what you just read. It's clear as day. I can give you more, but I think this suffices to establish my point because yes, this was part of my this was going to be part of my conversation. I was going to address Ahmad Didat. Read chapter 27, verse 1. Uh, these are the verses of the Quran and a clear book. Here's my question. I'm going to say it slowly so everyone, not just you, will get it. The Quran claims to be a book that explains all things, everything, perfectly, in detail. So now, you have a Quran in your hand. Can you show me where in the Quran does the Quran tell you what the Quran is? Meaning, you read a verse saying, this Quran. But what is this Quran? How many chapters make up the Quran and how do you know? Where does the Quran give you that information? Well, for one, I think that if you go to the prophets, the prophets confirm the Quran. So the Quran That's is not built together my by them. You're begging the question. How do you know what the Quran is? You see, again, you beg the question. So I'm going to repeat it again because I knew you're not going to answer. How do you know what the Quran is? Can you show me where the Quran tells you this is the Quran and this is how many chapters make up the Quran and this is the name of the chapters and how many verses in each chapter? You just begged the question. You just did what I knew you were about to do. So let's try it again. Where does the Quran tell you what the Quran is? Uh, I do not know uh, anywhere where the Quran says where it is, what it is. Okay. So now, what is the oldest source you have that tells you what the Quran is, how many chapters make up the Quran, and how many verses each chapter contains? What's the oldest source that gives you that information? Uh, from my knowledge, the Mayil Quran from 700 in, 799 AD would be like the first Quran. And how many chapters in that Quran? Uh, I believe about 102. Okay. So, in other words, you're now appealing to sources outside of the Quran. You said about what year again? I'm going to go by your dating. I'm just going to assume your dating is right. Between 700 and 799. Okay, so between 700 and 799. So, that means long after the reported death of your prophet. What year did your prophet die? What year did Muhammad die? Which prophet? There's many prophets. Well, the only prophet that you follow, because in your shahada, you don't say la ilaha illallah. 632 AD. Now, how do you know he died 632 AD? Where'd you get that from? Well... I believe it's in the Quran. Show me in the Quran where it says Muhammad was born this date and died this date. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, so in other words, even the information about Muhammad, when he was born and what year he died, comes from these sources that are 100 years removed 
from when he reportedly died. But wait, did you not just read in chapter 12, verse 111? Go to back to chapter 12, verse 111. Read it again. There was certainly in their stories a lesson of those of understanding. Neither was the Quran a narration invented, but a confirmation of what was before it and a detailed explanation of all things and guidance for the mercy of those who believe. You just falsified the Quran because the Quran says it is a detailed explanation of all things. And yet you couldn't tell me what the Quran is, how many chapters make up the Quran, how many verses each chapter contains. When your prophet was born, when he died. So you just falsified the Quran. 